Hello, I'm going to present the development of a new software to support the teaching of adjustment computation in the geomatics degree. Among all the professional competence involved in the trainer of future engineers in surveying, one of the more relevant is the knowledge and ability to adjust and solve different kinds of surveying network, since every observation contains errors. The Lysa Square theorem has a wide application in geomatics and surveying and can be used not only for conventional topographic problems, but also for photogrammetry, geodesy, etc. Among all the competencies of the subject, I would like to highlight the following two specific competencies, which will be directly addressed by the methodology presented here. In addition, there are other transversal competencies, such as teamwork, problem solving, and computer skills. The education of future engineers needs to be based on solid foundation which is the body of knowledge, techniques, and instruments used to solve problems. And, as is shown in the screen, the subject of adjustment of observation is a key one in the geomatics degree, with many relation to other subjects. In relation to the methodology, I would like to address that activity was designed using as a reference the criteria established in the literature, especially the economic one with regard to the primary use of free software solutions. To highlight the needs of the software development, I would like to remark that the fact that the programming of less square adjustment involves large matrices, which can be, can be complicated and tedious for the student to track down their mistakes. Therefore, to support the step-by-step -step resolution of a survey network and its programming by the student, the SDA software was developed. It was programmed in Qt, using the linear algebra library Armadello. This last was shows sign it has a syntax similar to the used by Octave, which is the matrix calculation software employed in the subject. Here, it can be seen the outline of the design approach. The student in group have to plan some tasks, covering different types of competencies, instrumental, programming, literature review, etc. The core of the activity is the implementation of a code to adjust and solve a survey network. For this, the student will transfer the theoretical knowledge to an Octave script, supported by the SDAR software, to review all the partial results. Finally, a student will critically analyze the result and collect all their activities in a portfolio. Next, I will show briefly the proposed activity. The field observation will be carried out in the vicinity of the campus and will be based on the definition of a simple survey network with distant observation obtained with different instruments. So, the student will continue developing their instrumental competencies. In addition, they will have to determine properly the precision of each observation to set correctly the weight of the adjustment. As stated previously, the student will program the solution from zero in Octave with a syntax very similar to MATLAB. To check the partial result of the coding, a student will use SDAR to verify them and, if necessary, correct programming error and therefore reduce the frustration. As part of the adjustment solution, the student will determine the precision of the final coordinates of the network and the error ellipses. This statistical analysis involves large matrices, so the support of ESTA software plays a key role in this step. The portfolio is the main instrument for assessing the transversal competence related to teamwork. It summarizes all the observation, group meetings, and individual activities carried out. Moreover, the activity grading share is carried out by the student themselves who have to reach a common agreement. However, this decision has to be supported by the evidence collected in the portfolio. And for the evaluation of the activity, a rubric will be used with the elements shown in the screen, which are linked to different competencies of the subject. Of course, the student will have this rubric as a guide from the beginning of the activity together with the rest of the material of the subject. Finally, I would like to extract some conclusion. Firstly, I would like to remark the development of a free software solution support to support teaching learning activities and especially designed for project-based learning. Secondly, this development improved the student competencies in mathematics and statistics. And lastly, I would like to remark that the software and the methodology can be easily used for online teaching. Thank you very much for your attention.